Carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common diagnosis in peripheral compressions of a nerve. Now, what does that mean? That means that there's a nerve that's traveling from your spinal cord down into your hand and it gets compressed along the way. Carpal tunnel syndrome is when your median nerve, which comes right through here, gets compressed at the level of the wrist. Most commonly, patients complain of numbness and tingling in their fingertips. So numbness is usually in these three fingers most predominantly. Carpal tunnel syndrome can happen uh, most commonly to individuals that are diabetics and as well as people that have thyroid disease. There's always been this uh, lure that uh, carpal tunnel syndrome happens if you type too much, things like that. With that being said, there are people that seem to be at a little bit higher risk with some repetitive actions, such as keyboarding or working in a factory environment. If you think that you have carpal tunnel syndrome and you come into the office and we have a chance to meet, one of the th first things we do is we sit down and I get a history from you. What we'll do is a couple of different exams on your hands to see if that elicits some of your symptoms and, cons and as well as if that's consistent with carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, we have a couple of treatment options at that point. One of the first things that I'll probably ask you to do after that if I do believe that you have carpal tunnel syndrome is get a test called an EMG. With this, the EMG evaluates how well your nerve is functioning as well as how healthy your muscles are out into your hand. The other thing that can happen is that this nerve that comes up through here, the median nerve, actually supplies these muscles right here in your thumb. This gives you the chance to actually bring your thumb out into space, as such as when you're grabbing a can or something like that. Over time, if that muscle is not getting enough information from the nerve, then it starts to die away. And what happens with carpal tunnel syndrome is that the comp constant compression here at your wrist can start to put too much pressure on the nerve and actually start to cause permanent damage to the muscles within your hands. So the EMG lets us start to evaluate that to see if you're showing any of those early signs of muscle damage. Based on your symptoms and how long you've had these symptoms and uh, what I think perceive as your severity and as well as with the information gained from the EMG, one of the first lines that we do is just splinting at night. You wear these splints that they keep your wrist straight while you're sleeping. You only wear them when you're sleeping and you don't need to wear them when you're at work or doing any of their activities. It's a simple wrist splint that holds your wrist out into a straight position like this. Let's the nerve rest and recover at night. If you fail the splinting, then the next option we talk about is surgery. The surgery itself is an outpatient procedure. It takes 15, 20 minutes to perform the procedure. For the procedure, what we do is we give you an IV into one arm and usually give you a little bit of sedation. And once you're back in the operating room, you have a little bit of sedation. Uh, we actually just put a little bit of numbing medicine right here along your wrist and make a one and a half to two centimeter long inc incision right here along the palm of your hand. With that, I'm actually going to go down and and release the, what's called the transverse carpal ligament, which is a thick band of fibrous tissue that pushes over the top of your nerve. And that allows your nerve to breathe and not get the tension on it anymore. After that, you'll be in a dressing without a splint, a soft dressing, so you can immediately start moving your wrist and hand. And you'll be in that for about 10 days until you come back and see me and we'll take the stitches out. I tell patients that it's upwards of three months before you start to feel all the discomfort on where the surgical site was go away and around that three to four month time when you feel like you get all your strength back.